My name is Gordon Garcia. I'm a facilities person here at Ted Stevens Marine Research Institute facility. My job is to kind of keep things running. But my background is in biology, so every chance I get, I jump at a chance to do something in the biological world. We're looking at a tank with a number of squid eggs that are in capsules, and they look like big anemones, maybe, giant sea anemones. And within each capsule, which is a long, a finger-like appendage looking thing, there may be 30 to 40 eggs in each one of those. And I can't begin to tell you how many of those we have, but I would think four or 500 of them. Eggs of what? Eggs of, they're called market squid. Are they native to this area? They are, but this is the first time that, at least at our research station out at Little Port Walter, we've ever seen squid spawning, and the station's been there since the 20s, so this is kind of a, a unique opportunity for us to do something a little bit different. They're also uh, seeing the hatch of the eggs out at the facility there, where they ended up spawning up in the shallow water, which is much warmer than typically our water is, 10 degrees here. So what I've done is I've elevated the temperature of the water to bring it up to 16 so that I can precipitate hatch. I'll show you a little bit later. I've got some still at 10 degrees over there that haven't done anything. They're just sitting there and will likely die. Because the water's not warm enough. Because the water's not warm enough. Okay. This is maybe a common occurrence. It's just rarely observed then, right? I, that would be my guess. I've never seen it. In fact, I've never seen squid in Southeast, and I've been here since 1976. I worked for the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. So I've never seen this before. How big will these little guys get to be? I think they get to 8 to 10 inches max. They're not a big squid. But what are you going to do with them after they hatch, continue oh. hatching here? Yeah, we're trying to culture them. We're trying to see if we can actually get them to grow. Typically, when people have had the opportunity to hatch squid, they've been unable to keep them alive. So we're going to try feeding them. Um, what we're doing is we're calling them into other tanks that we have in this black box structure here, and we will try to feed them to see if we can get some of them to live. And it may only be a half a dozen by the time we've gone through this whole um, sequence of, of hatch to adult, hopefully. And they only live for a year, and that's it. So they live for a year, they spawn, and then they die. So is each pom-pom or each finger of the pom-pom left uh, spawned out by, by the squid? I mean, is, it, is this the work of multiple uh, squid as far as these egg batches here? Yes, I'm not sure how many of those egg capsules each squid will lay, but maybe one, two, maybe three. And so this may be, uh, well, they're multiple squid. I think they figured there were two or three hundred of them that they saw. And if each one does two or three capsules, you know, that would account for what we have here. Was there anything about your fish capture device that you folks think may have prompted them to lay the eggs in that particular spot? Just um, happened to be in a, a fairly secure place, you know, apparently some Chinook did move into that capture device and the squid took off before they finished spawning. But that was just kind of one of those things, they found an area that looked like it would be safe and went for it. And we were the benefactors being able to get these squid eggs. And they're, they're just popping out as we're talking. I mean, you can see that cloud is getting denser and denser and denser. How many do you think there are in there? I oh, guess? I have no idea. If I was to go shake these egg masses, I'd probably triple the number of, of critters that you see there. I mean, it's just nuts how many. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them all. I'd hate to see them die, but that's nature, of course. And we'll take the strongest and see if we can't make them grow.